So this flips a video. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose around about, I'm just going to choose a few objects. Right, are we ready? I think we're ready. Uh, look at you, beautiful people. Right, guys, what I thought I'd do today, as a consequence of a whole bunch of questions that I get, keep getting asked on Instagram, is I'm gonna show you how I create really kind of punchy, cinematic style Instagram stories. So, um, we're gonna keep it quite simple on this first tutorial. If you're into it, I'll do a whole bunch more. We get, we get into grading and um, kind of other styles of shooting. There's a whole bunch of ways of shooting this shit, guys, I'll tell you. And you can create some really awesome stuff for your Instagram stories. And not just for Insta stories, I'll, I'll put them on Facebook, I'll put them uh, on Pinterest, put them on Instagram wall. And um, it just mixes things up a bit. It just brings to life your, uh, your content, your portfolio, punchy, cinematic, and just like, just, just quite inspirational, I think. So, but you can use these videos wherever you want, guys. And you can, obviously, you're putting your own spin on this, right? I've got my content and they're flavored with my personality, my life. You can like mix it up and uh, just really experiment and you can create some, some pretty cool stuff. Today though, we're gonna keep it really simple. I'm gonna record it, I'm gonna do this on my phone. Everything's gonna be edited in the phone. First off, one thing. Yeah, you can shoot handheld like this uh, freehand. But what I use quite often, I mix maybe about 50% of the time, I use this, okay? So I bought this in two parts. So this is really cool little uh, little gadget. So it's a tripod, obviously. It's not, a, you know, it's not a new invention or anything. And this is, I think, Manfrotto. And this is from another company. And I just bought the two parts and put them together. And this is like so... Like, I mean, you can drop that off a cliff, that thing. It's, it's super resilient. This is plastic, but it's, it's, uh, it's fine. And you screw that on there. The great thing about this, it's got a ball head. Can you see that? It's got like a, this, push that button in, and it's got like a ball head. This whole thing, I think, comes to about 15 pound. So then you use this. You drop the phone in there, okay, like that. Just screw it up. And it's got this little knob on the back there where you can loosen this slightly and then you can shoot either, you can shoot portrait or landscape. So I'll put a link, I'll put a link to these guys um, below the video. So I'm gonna take my footage from just recording literally objects in my house, yeah? Um, stuff on the wall, books, magazines, that kind of a thing, like I said. So what you might wanna do with this guys is to just do like a little 15, 20 second trial run. Have the objects that you're, that you're moving between yeah, have, have them lined up. Otherwise, uh, uh, you might trip over or something. Just, <laughs> so just have the objects, just about five, six, seven objects to start with, and then just move between those objects. Okay, I have a few apps for recording video, but for this, I'm just gonna record, I'm just gonna record using the, um, the iPhone camera, okay? Just a normal video on the phone. So this flips a video. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna choose around about, I'm just gonna choose a few objects, from um, from my home, the objects are kind of arbitrary. You can create a little thread, a little narrative of like similar objects, similar themed objects. So I think what I'll do, I've done kind of done this before. I'll, I'll perhaps stick with like Beatles stuff and photography stuff. I've got Lennon there. I've got John on the wall there. So right, let's go for it. So I want to start recording. And what we want to do, guys, we want to keep the camera as smooth as possible. Okay, with our pans. And what I don't really want to be doing much is turning the camera like that. Okay, I, I don't want to be turning the camera. I want to kind of pan. When I'm moving from left to right, I want to pan up and down, yeah, and in and, and out. We don't really want this, really, okay? I mean, it's fine, but for me, it's a little more cinematic when we keep things smooth steady and we keep them on those uh, planes that I just mentioned. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna start recording. We're gonna start with John and when we land on each object, the camera's a bit shaky here, I'm holding the camera up. When we land on each object, we wanna hold for around about two, three seconds, okay? Right, so here we go. It's John. Okay, 
this drum now, and then maybe we'll come into that. Louis coming down, but might work actually if Louis comes in. So we are going to swing, and we'll come to here, John. We'll come out, slow movement, and then we'll come to the camera here. Okay. And then we're going to come across to Paul. And then Paul going here. And then we're going to come up here. And then maybe come down. And we're going to come here. Onto my table, which I'll show you in a sec. Camera, Kate, looks pretty cool. Yeah, and then I'm going to take you into an app called InShot, which is just amazing. I use this app for everything. I even use this for resizing images, um, various dimensions uh, for Instagram and social media. It's great for stories. I create uh, a whole bunch of my stuff on this on this app, guys. The stuff that you see of mine on social media. Okay, so file new video. We're going to bring in. And you can add, you can mix it up between video, still images, not a problem. So I'm going to keep it simple on this first tutorial, okay? Now you can see at the bottom here, we have all of these options. And these will allow you to activate once you click on the timeline, which is at the bottom here. Can you see our footage? At the moment, the dimensions, the canvas is set for, can you see this? This is like, this is so cool for um it's set for the instagram wall but you can go to instagram stories right now everything that i've just gone through with you with regards to filming the footage if you want to film horizontal which most people do right for insta stories absolutely uh absolutely fine and possibly the way to go guys possibly the way to go with insta stories especially i just like that cinematic look the wide 16 by 9 look of um of landscape, so I keep it at that. Also, with when I'm doing that, it allows me more space at the top of the bottom in Insta Stories to type in a whole bunch of nonsense if I if I want to do that. Okay, so um, we've got it on nine sixteen, and then we're gonna the little tick mark on the bottom right. We're gonna hit that baby, and then we can see our footage. And then what I'm gonna do? So we're starting on John. I'm gonna drag this along until. Actually, we don't need that much footage of that first object there. Okay? So remember, I was waffling to you guys. So we're going to cut it around about here. So you click on the footage, and it will bring up the option to split. Can you see that on the bottom right? There we go. And we're going to lose that first part. If we drag along, we can delete that first section of uh, footage before the cut. So you have John here, and as soon as it starts moving, we're going to cut. Okay, so again, you want to click on the timeline at the bottom, roll back there to split. And then when it comes to John again here, just around about, that's pretty cool. We're going to split it again. Okay, and then that footage in between the cuts, what we're going to do, we're going to speed it up. So you have that kind of a Guy Ritchie type feel to it. So then we're going from here. And then we hold for a few seconds, and then we create another spit, spit, split. So we've got a slow section of footage. And then what we're going to do, actually, we zoom in, don't we, slightly there on John. So we're going to create another split, and the footage in between again. You can play around with this, guys, right? We're going to speed this up again. So the zoom is going to be quiet fast yeah and then we're going to hold on john so that means we need when it moves there so suit so basically i like this kind of tracking back from john here and then i i just move i bring the camera slightly to the left before i whip round. can you see that but i want this kind of a feel to it yeah i'm dragging the timeline at the bottom guys to uh 
to show you that, to just get a feel for how fast I want that, that whip pan to be, yeah? So again, we move slightly to the left and just as it starts now, I'm gonna split. There we go, so I want, it's just about there and it's, so as soon as it whips round, and I'm gonna keep going actually until we get here. So that's gonna be, that section of footage there, transition, the whip round from uh, the poster of John on the wall to this is gonna be super fast, okay? I'm gonna speed that up to 100%. So you're gonna see we've got this, go to the left and then whoosh, see? And then we're gonna split it again. And we're gonna leave that bit of footage there. And then what we're gonna do, we come across here. See, we'll, once we pull away from John, we're gonna speed that up. So it's gonna be like this, split. I'm not gonna go 100% with this. I'm just gonna go 2.9 times and then see what that looks like. It's pretty cool. So that's fine. And so we come across here. Split. Speed. Like this. Yep, again, we hold on pull. Um, I think we could leave those. Yeah, uh, okay, from pull up to the camera. I wanna speed that up. Speed that up. Maybe that's too, too fast. Oh, I like that. And then hold with a split. And then we're gonna bring, come down to the, I don't really like this transition here. I, think I, I screwed it up a little bit, but let's see what it looks like. Because I moved to the other side of the room. I'm here. No, it's okay. Onto my table. Um, I'm gonna split it again. I'm gonna speed that bit of footage up. Just slightly. Oh, and remember, we kind of come back in, so so we're gonna leave that like this, split, and then we're gonna speed that up. So we so we finish with a really fast whip zoom in, yeah. Oh, you know what, guys? <laughs> what I didn't tell you to do at the beginning, before you make any cuts you want to click on the, the timeline at the bottom and then you want to take the volume down. Okay, because we're just gonna, because for this particular segment, we're just gonna, we're just gonna add some music over the top, right? Now you would have been able to do this in one, in one hit, okay, but um, because I wasn't thinking, I'm having to do it now. Here we go. So then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add some music. And you can import music from anywhere. I tend to be a bit cheeky and use uh, music that I like. Sometimes Instagram takes it down, sometimes it, 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 it doesn't. But you're only using perhaps like maybe 15, 20 seconds at a time, sometimes more. I also have friends who are musicians. Um, I have my friend Max, who I, and I have access to all of his music, so... Um, I'm going to use one of these, and you can see. There we go. That shot that knocked me to the ground My bloodshot eyes and broken heart The truth was there and once again found Watching movies with an eye for this kind of thing as well is a good little bit of advice guys, okay? Um, watch the movie once to enjoy it and then watch it back, see what these guys are doing with, uh, with the cinematography, with their cameras, right? 
You can learn from these guys. I love good cinematography. I'll put a link to some of my favorite films down below. I'll also put a link to the app, InShot. I mean, hopefully we get into that a bit more. I mean, like there's a whole bunch of shit you can do with uh, that InShot app that I'm still discovering. But it's also so much fun to use. You just like, and it's so easy to get used to it. You can kind of just pick things up as you go. You can use it for your photographs, for resizing, that kind of thing. You can create photo grids in now. And um, I think there's like a yearly subscription, but it doesn't cost that much at all for literally, uh, it's in terms of value for money, it's the best app that I've uh, ever used on my iPhone, InShot. I use it all the time, every day. I'm really interested in what you guys are interested in, okay? It makes sense. It's not just a line I keep spinning. I'm really interested. I want some comments below. I want this to be a bit more of a collaboration. Um, I have a whole bunch of experience, guys. Over 14, 15 years experience photography. I've shot weddings all around the world. I've shot fashion. I've shot portraits. I've done music videos for bands. All of this I, I want to bring into this YouTube channel. And I want to share with you guys. And uh, But I think by you guys asking me questions, then that will that'll, that'll fire me up, get me thinking, get me brainstorming. It's like, ah, the guys, this, this will be interesting. We could do a video like that. So guys, please subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. You'll be reminded when I post a new video. Okay, and I'm gonna be doing a whole bunch over the next week or so. Hit the like button, guys. Like I said, it's a big support to me. And uh, right, get lost. <laughs> See you on the next video. Cheers, guys. That shot that knocked me to the ground My bloodshot eyes and broken heart The truth was there and once again found